When you think of the most venomous animal in the world, what comes to mind? Is it the saw-scaled viper, the box jellyfish, or maybe the Indian red scorpion? Though all very dangerous, if you guessed any of those, you're wrong. The answer may surprise you. Yes, this odd-looking mollusk is the most venomous animal alive. It's called the cone snail. And while a snail may seem like an anticlimactic answer, it should not be underestimated. The venom of a single cone snail can potentially kill up to 700 people. Yikes. So how does it hunt? What happens if you get stung by one? And how is its venom used in medicine? There are over 1,000 species of cone snail that vary in size and appearance. Watch out for them if you're ever in Australia's Great Barrier Reef or off the coasts of Hawaii and California. They live in coral reefs and burrow in the shallow sand, emerging at night to hunt. Most of the time, the cone snail is slow and motionless. Should its favorite prey swim by, this sharp shooter will spring into action. Various species of cone snails will utilize different hunting tactics. They also make their own unique venom concoction depending on the prey they prefer. This can be worms, mollusks, or fish. The cone snail is a master of hook and line hunting. This involves it extending its proboscis to smell an unsuspecting meal. Then, nearly as fast as a bullet, it shoots out its harpoon-like tooth called a radula. In the blink of an eye, it skewers its prey at speeds exceeding 400,000 meters per second squared. The radula are attached to the venom gland, which pumps its catch full of toxins. Once the prey stops moving, the proboscis retracts into the snail's stomach. With its net hunting technique, it'll first engulf the prey in its proboscis and then shoot the radula inside its mouth. When hunting a school of fish, the cone snail releases insulin in the water. This hormone, which instantly drops blood sugar, will enter a fish's gills and make them sluggish. The cone snail will then snatch the comatose fish. If it's a species of cone snail that prefers worms, it'll release a pheromone-like chemical made by female worms. This lures in male worms looking for a date who will unfortunately find a hungry cone snail instead. Cone snail venom contains conotoxins that can shut down the muscles and nerve cells leading to paralysis and death. Each creature can carry over 100,000 types of conotoxins, which is why it's impossible to create antivenom against it. Should you be stung by a deadly cone snail, you would first feel a burning sensation similar to a bee sting. Milder symptoms include fatigue, sweating, and changes to your vision. But depending on the potency of the venom, you could experience muscle paralysis, heart failure, or possibly fall into a coma. The sooner you get medical help, the better your chances are of surviving. Death can occur anywhere between one to five hours after the initial sting. While cone snails can and have killed humans, 36 to be exact, they will not hunt you. Fatalities are often from accidental encounters with beachgoers and scuba divers. Ironically enough, their deadly venom is being used in the name of medicine. In 2004, a painkiller called Prealt was released in the US. It blocks the pain signals in the spine, providing relief from chronic pain without the use of addictive opioids. Prealt's secret ingredient is conopeptide, the pain-killing conotoxin that the fish-eating cone snails inject into their prey. Scientists are also researching the snail's insulin. The insulin our pancreas makes takes about 30 minutes to lower blood sugar, while the snail's is instant. By combining snail and human insulin, scientists hope to create a more effective diabetes treatment. Cone snails aren't the only creatures whose venom is being used medicinally. Believe it or not, the venom and milk of the bizarrely adorable duck-billed platypus are also being researched for medical uses. Find out all about it in another episode. Being the most venomous animal on the planet, 
armed with toxins that can both kill and help you, is what cone snails are. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.